Joe here, and welcome to part two to the Kapunging Alo mod. Uh, this is obviously part two of a, a walkthrough that I am doing. Uh, in the first part, um, if you haven't seen part one, I will leave a link in the description below, uh, linking you to that video, uh, where you know you'll, you'll find out more about Kampunging Adder itself, as well as about this little ghost girl here, otherwise known as Newt. But in the second part we are going to be covering what I've called the Phoenix update. So the Phoenix update adds another new location for you to go in, obviously discover, go through, you know, and it continues on the story arc to a group called the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire. Which obviously, if you don't know, obviously, if you're not so sure who that is, is that uh, you can find out a little bit about them in part one. Uh, but to give a little recap, in just in case if you have seen it but you kind of forgotten, the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire is a bit like a, a mercenary, a mercenary band or group or whatever you want to call it, into which Freya's husband Odin is a part of that group. And throughout reading some of the stuff in you that you can find within Kapunging Alar itself, you will learn that uh, he, that Odin himself, has gone off to what's called a gathering that is held by the Revenant Phoenix Fire. Now, we are going to continue that story arc, and the first thing we're going to look at is now, normally on the table over here, there'll be a book here called uh, Case Notes, or is it Case Journals? I can't quite remember now. Uh, case notes. This book here. We're not going to look at this book first because this book is stupidly long. It's getting stupidly long. Uh, but you, as well now in this in this Phoenix update, you will find this note on the table, otherwise known as a ransom note. We know you're hiding that filthy miling child in Kapung Alla, or at least what's left of her. And we demand that you hand her over to us. Your husband is in our jail and is subjected to a daily torture. Now, I do not wish to prolong this situation any further, as I do respect your husband and as he was one of my best men and a friend. Now he has broken my trust after he assisted that mining child's soul to escape. So I will keep this simple. You hand over the soul to us, and we will release Odin back to you. Maybe not unharmed, but still in one piece. So, obviously, Odin isn't coming back just yet. Hmm. So, you get that little ransom note. It, does, it doesn't uh, unlock a quest or that. It's just a little thing that's been added in. To, obviously, further the story arc a bit more. So, if you also pick up this book, if you've got this book in your inventory, or you've left it in your home, you can go back and you can collect the book, and the book itself will do what it did within the Newt update, into which the story in here has been updated more. It explains how the book, how does, what in the ways of the story wise, how this book works. Uh, but it explains that at the beginning of the book, so... So, let's go and have a look. So, we're going to go with it near the end. So, basically, the, the new update part... So I'm not going to I'm not going to read it, because, again, it's getting quite long... ...for a book. Uh, but, basically, it's updated with it in the way... ...in the ways of, like, basically... ...your character says that, you, know, you found... ...where Newt's home was, and that it was attacked. And basically, that everyone in uh, Tazara, where you came from, was unfortunately killed. And it, go it goes on, and it goes on, and it talks about uh, a dead body you found in Tazara called Lochran, who was part of the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire. And he has a note that mentions uh, the, the Shadow Hunter, which Odin is known as a Shadow Hunter. To the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire, 
And you found out that basically it, he was sent, Lochrin was sent to Tazara by Yorin, who you find out Yorin is the leader of the Revenants. And basically, Freyr asks you to go off to where the Phoenix Fire is, well, the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire is, to go and basically rescue Odin and bring him back. That's what it is in, in, in simple terms. It comes into a little bit more, but again, I will let you lot read that in your own time, because, as you can see, this book, in its own right, is pretty damn long. So I'm not going to sit here and read it for ages. So, we are going to go to the new location. Now, it does explain in the book where the new location is. Uh, but in the same way of what happened with the new update, which obviously was at, in here, in Hidden Cave, uh, obviously there was already a map marker on the map for you when you when you updated the mod. Uh, obviously, it wasn't discovered. You had to go and discover it, but you could see where it was on the map. And it does the same again with this one. So as you can see, if you come up to the north, in between Dawnstar and Winterhold, you will see this marker here called Fenix Spire. That is the new location, so that is where we are going to go. So I will see you all at the Fenix Spire. Alright, so here we are. Here is the Fenix Spire. So just once again, as you see, I am here on the map. So basically, in, up in the north, in between Winterhold and Dawnstar. So obviously on the outside, yeah, the location on the outside isn't massive. No, it's not a massive location on the outside. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna go into the sentry post. All right, yeah, and straight away. To a bit of a fight with a Phoenix Talon. You know, so they, it seems like they could take a little bit of beaten. They're, not, they're nothing too. I mean, you might struggle a little bit if you come in here at quite a low level. You might struggle a little bit. Ah, uh, nope. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh. She wasn't going to need it anymore anyway. But yeah. So you might struggle a little bit if you're coming in here in here at quite a low level. Uh, but I'd say once you get to like level like 15, level 20, uh, at least the main sort of like enemies, so either like Phoenix Talons or Ash Razors, shouldn't present too much of a fight for you. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, so uh, yeah, up in this first room, yeah, it's not a major load of me, you know, but you know, you've got some barrels you can have a look in, you can get some, get some, get, have some nice ale, and you know, have some wardrobe and stuff like that. So we're going to move on down, and then go down, 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 and into the phoenix nest. And here we are with some more people. No, you might. So we've got another another new type of warrior person in here. We also have a fire feather here. So I take out the fire feather, and he's now. Take out this person. Right. Then we've got the first room in here. And you can see you got a whole bunch of stuff in here you can take if you if you if you wish. Um, once again, you got a whole load of storage stuff. So you got, you know, you got a load of barrels you can search in. You know, they'll have like either food items or then um, like alchemy, alchemical ingredients and stuff like that. Uh, you'll be able to find like a few chests lying about the place. You know, just gives you like ran randomized leveled loot. So you got, you, know, you got one there, you got one there. You got a bunch more barrels here, me barrels here. Come over here, you can get yourself a. Hey, I'm a little if you'd like, you can get some hawk feathers. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, I'm not gonna worry about that. Worry about that. Then you come over here, you got a keen chanter, you also got some soul gems, which I'm gonna take some of it. I think I'll take these buggers. Never mind now. 
bunch more bloody chests. Again, all most of the chests in here will have like randomized level loot. You know, they're not. There's no like unique. In a lot of the chests, they're all like randomized levels loot. So like, well, this one for example is locked. I'm not gonna worry about unlocking it. But they got Iron King Enchanter and the fancy glowing banners again with a different design on this time. And if you come, obviously, if you come here, yeah, you got an alchemy lab. Got plenty of potions, so I think I'll take some of these actually. I'll take all of those ones. Uh, actually, you know what? That'd be a good idea if I take magical ones actually tomorrow. No, I've got. No, no, didn't, didn't want to grab that, but I grabbed it anyway. Oh, I'm gonna grab all of those, right. I don't know where it is. It's like kitchenary, you know, you get, you get a few ingredients and stuff like that if you wish. I don't wait. Actually, might grab some of these ones, match, actually. I'm not gonna worry about the rabbit. I'll take that. Right. So, next, we are gonna go through this door here. Oh, there's another person standing on there. Some more stuff we need to look in. Me barrels. Just over there. Watch what I'm doing. But I'm here. Behind you. Yeah, unfortunately, these people aren't the brightest. I mean, I'm just gonna, you know, cut you up while I'm slowly draining your health. Oh, I can't be asked you. Ah, uh, dead. <laughs> Alright, obviously here we've got some kind of smithery thing going on. I think we have a bit of a smithery motif. Uh, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna take your arrows. Why not? Okay, you got a bunch of chests and all this. You know, just some nice little wonderful stuff. And uh, here, oh, but the bloody ingots and a whole load of bloody ores. Now, back in a second. Give me that last one. Right, last one. And uh, actually, whilst I'm here, very quickly, I'm just going to just want to improve this. There you go. Right, done. But yeah, so in here, in in one of the corners, you'll 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 be able to get obviously find a lot of lot of uh, different ores. Didn't get that one. And a whole bunch of ingots. And then once again you got you know, it's a few chests for you to find. And obviously you can you can loot any of the people that you kill. Next we are going to go this way, I think. Let's see what's down this way. And we'll go to the right. Hello people. Dead, dead. Ah, I'll take you out traditional. I'll take you out with the soul. Right. And bleh. Death. Uh, oh, as you, as you can tell, this is probably supposed to be some kind of library kind of thing. Load of bookshelves. I mean, there is a chest in here. Again, randomized level loot. I'm about to take it in. Take some of it. Uh, but it's primarily just a load of bookcases. So if you're bit of a bookworm or you like a bit of literature you'll probably be able to get most of it within here minus the skill books because you never find them in these bloody things all right so we're gonna go for this door what we got in here hmm. maybe some kind of living quarters right, take you down now how about now how about now Alright. Take out this person and dead and uh, somewhere behind the bar. And and and, uh, and he died. Uh take him. Right, he, he die he dies doing what he loved. Drinking. And as you can see he got some more of this stuff, the high rock scotch. It's pretty goddamn expensive. I'm not gonna bother taking it as I don't need to. But obviously this seems to be obviously some kind of like basically like living quarters, so a place where many of the these groups members can go, relax, get a bit of sleep, have a bit of have a bit of a laugh and giggle with one another. So we come to this door here. Now this door is gonna lead us to a couple of new things. Uh the only problem is 
it's locked by a master lock. Oh bloody hell. Right, so I will be back when I've got this unlocked. Nope. Ah. Bugger. Shit. Nope. Oh sweet Jesus. Mm. Ah. Oh come on. For fuck's sake. All right, finally we got to. Oh, hi. So finally we have success. But first of all, we're going to take this person out. Ah, uh, well. Being dead and all, she's not going to need that anymore, is she? Oh, there it goes. Hi down there. Young fun rolling around. But right. So, we've obviously made it to some kind of storeroom now, so pretty much everything in here has something in it. <laughs> uh, obviously a lot of it's barrels, but you know, you still get a few chests again. Randomized level loot, so you know, you got some of that. I'm gonna need that lot pick up way bloody wasted load trying to get in here. You know, so you, you, know, you got a whole bunch of this, and you got this obviously from here, where you can... Uh, Obviously, some of these things might be from other things that I have already installed. So, like this thing, for example, this is obviously this is going to be for some from some gas. Uh, what does it do anyway? Cast a rune invisible for 15 seconds. Activate an object or drag a movement over 15 seconds. Improve night vision for 15 seconds. I'm not really going to use it, but I'll take it to sell it. And, but yeah, so on the on top level you'll find a shit ton of barrels, uh, quite a few chests, and then down below, well, especially on this side, there's chests over there, and then obviously down here you find more barrels, more chests, separate head, and a bunch of safes, uh, this one for some reason that I've locked, I, I locked this one for some reason, I don't know why I locked it, because it's going to have the same kind of stuff as this lot, so I'm not quite sure, quite not sure why I set out that one to be an expert. But I'm, I'm not going to go for every single chest in this, I'm just going to go through a couple of them, grab a couple of bits of bobs, bada bing bada boom. But, the main things we I want to grab whilst I'm in here, is I'm going to grab these dragon bone arrows, I'm going to grab this ebony arrow. Now, in here, there are going to be a bunch of new unique, unique things, and the first unique thing is this, here. The Wisp Shroud. Now, it does state in the... I have stated in the description to the mod that this certain piece of apparel, this piece of armor, it, the mod it has a unique look for the females, but for male characters, it will still look like a piece of forsworn armor because this is what it's what it's based off. It's based off the forsworn armor, well, the model is anyway, or the mesh if you want to get technical. Uh, so the mesh is based off the Forsworn armor, uh, but due to, but I've obviously changed the texture, hence why on here it looks different. Uh, but for some reason on the males, um, it would delete parts of the body, so that's why it doesn't work as a male if you put it on the male character. So if you put it on the male character, it will still look like Forsworn armor, but on the females it looks a little bit different. But let's go and have a look at it. So on my file, it's armor rating is 56, but obviously that can vary. Depends on your player's skill with light armor. Uh, value is at 9,557. So even if you can't use it, you can still set it for quite a pretty penny. So let's have a look. Increases magic resistance by 100%. Increases enchanting skill by 50 points. So that's pretty good. One-handed attacks do 50% more damage. Two handed attacks do 50% more damage, increases your magic by 100 points. So it's not a bad piece of armor, I don't think, I would say. It's not a bad piece of armor. Unfortunately, it's not, it's, it is a light armor, so it's not set to be heavy, and there isn't a heavy version of it. And here we are. The Wisp Shroud Armor. Not suitable to be worn out in the cold. It's, as you can see, there's not very really a lot there. 
But yeah, for some reason, if you put, if trying to get this to work on the mail, for some reason, for example, uh, the, what is there, left hand side of their chest would sort of like disappear and become completely see through, and you could see through the entire body, and obviously that just looked like crap. Uh, but for females, for some odd reason, I don't know why, uh, but for females, it didn't affect the body model, the actual mod the actual body of your character, so the body remained. So that's why it only specifically works on female characters, but not so much male characters. But for the purposes of this walkthrough, I'm going to continue to wear this one here, because I need the armor rating. Now the other unique lot of stuff is, is in this, because obviously you got this chest, this chest, and you got these normal looking chests, and then you got this one. Known as the unusual chest. So, inside the unusual chest, there is a whole bunch of lingerie. A whole new bunch of lingerie. Now you can, obviously you can see, a lot of it's like Imperium, 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 and Imperium. And then rows, 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 starlight, 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 and so on, so on. Now, the way that these work is, as you can see, you've got this one, starlight elsewhere, lingerie, starlight Dunmer, lingerie, starlight Bosmer, so on, so forth. So, this is basically, uh, these are based off the basic, so basically, let's just strip down from there. So as you can see in the middle, obviously I'm not wearing anything. You know, I'm stripped down to the underwear. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to grab this one. Unfortunately, I'm not carrying carrying too much, but I can sort that out. That's no problem. So uh, as you can see, I only grab the ones that don't have these other specific names in it. It's just the ones that are labeled uh, like Imperium Lingerie or Rose Lingerie or Starlight Lingerie. Now, if I put this one on, it changes how I look. It doesn't change my skin colour. Oh, uh, yes, again, I can't run. But as you can see, it changes the looks of the player's underwear. And if I was to go to Rhodes, ain't got that one. And if I was to go to Starlight, you got that one. So it's it's almost like it's like lingerie or a new set of swimwear, you know, a bikini ready for the summer. But but due to this, unfortunately, you can't wear this underneath any other armor. If you, you wear armor, it will unequip the specific piece of lingerie. It's mainly because of how this works. Uh, so it changes the looks of the underwear but it's equipped in the same way as a piece of clothing. So you can't wear this underneath your armor but you can wear it as its own separate piece. Now the reason why there are ones that are labeled as like Altmer, Argonia, Bosmer, Dunmer and elsewhere is due to how the meshes for the bodies work so for example my character, yeah, my character is technically a Tetra race which is from uh, one of my other mods but they are based off the Nord race or human race so the ones that I'm wearing or that I can wear that I've picked out can work on Nords, Imperials, Redguards, and Orcs, and Bretons. Uh, but for example, Ultima won't work on my character. Ultima won't work on Argonians, or Bosmer, or Dunmer, or the Gajits. The Ultima will only work on our High Elves. Argonia will only work on our Argonians, Bosmer will only work on Wood Elves, Dunmer will only work on the Dark Elves, and Elsewhere will only work on the Gajits. So, depends on which race you're playing as, will depend on which one you would want to pick up. So, say for example if I was playing as 
a bolt a wood elf, then I would pick up all the Bosma types. So that Bosma one, this Bosma one, and this Bosma one. And same again if you're playing as a high elf, you just pick the Altmer and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna keep that lot. And we are gonna now try and see if I can get my can weight back up. So, um, but the good thing is, is I've set the value to, of them each to be 1,000. So, even if you, so even the ones that you can't wear yourself, you can just take them, because they only weigh one. Just take them, and then just sell them. Either sell them, or give them to a follower, so they can just go running around in a bikini if you want. <laughs> but right, so that's it for that one. So we are now going to go down this way. Might want me shield. Might be a good idea. Where is it? Here we are. Alright then. And what have we got behind this door? Jail. We have a jail. And oh dear, there's a dead child. And a dead person there. And a bunch of skeletons. And a, a guy who's been sort of burnt to the wall. And a dead guy on the table. And a whole lot of other dead people, and another dead child up there hanging in a basket. Oh god, this has got a bit morbid all of a sudden, hasn't it? Alright, so obviously we found some kind of like torture room in this place. Uh, fortunately, uh, they brought back a couple of the Mylingers my with them. Uh, fortunately, tortured them until they basically died. Uh, just uh, sadly, a couple of them were children. Alright, let's see if we can find Odin. So in here. And I hey, Odin has a werewolf. So that gave me Odin. What about here? Okay, so cover the vampires. Uh take the vampire dust. Take gold and vampire dust, because that's fit it, you're not so I can go need your money anymore, are you? Oh you your werebear. I'll take the honeycomb, why not? I'll take the human flesh. Use it for alchemy. Uh, this one, well, this one's empty. Must belong to that man over there then. And then we got another webber. Hello, webber. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take your money. Um, yeah, screw. I'll take the food. You ain't gonna eat it. I might as well eat it. All right. Then here we got another werewolf. Can't reach that person there. Okay, so so, look. so you are uh, well, you're just a corpse, and you're charged. So you're not really going to have a lot there, really. I, I mean, you got some shoes, but let's face it, I'm not really going to be able to do much with shoes now, am I? But I'm going to take your shoes anyway. All right, so we've got one guy there. Who is this? Oh dear. Well, we have found Odin. Unfortunately, he did not make it. So, he cannot return Odin to Freya. So, someone's gonna have to break the news to her, aren't they? Oh, no. oh dear. Oh dear. Alright. So, I might as well go murder the man who murdered Odin. Wasn't you, but I'm gonna kill you anyway. Uh death. Alright, here we are. Who are you? You're someone who's going to die painfully. And you die painfully. Who are you? Oh. Ow. How dare you? No. You bloody well done. Damn you. Yes. Damn me indeed. Give me a bloody arrow, I'm gonna take a bloody sapphire. Hey -oh. Chop. Alright, so we've got some kind of weird looking trophy room in here. By the looks of it. Some kind of ice, ice, ice iced werewolf. A couple of hard grievance. And a big ass spider. Ugh. Well, it's on this table here. we got Witches of the East, Where of Shadows, and Horror of the Ice. So yeah, these these three books, each one corresponds to 
each one of these. So obviously, it's like, for example, Horror of the Ice corresponds to this one, which is the east, which is the east corresponds to these, and Weather Shadows corresponds to this dude. Now I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna sit here and read them. Uh, I'll let you lot read that in in your own time. These ones aren't like too massively done. They're not like extremely lengthy. You better know. But you get a little, you get like a little idea of like how some of the structure of the Revenant worked. All right. So where we got next? We got up here. Dum dum dum. We'll be in here. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Yorin. You're the guy who sent the ransom note. Hello. But now you do have to be a bit careful with Yorin. He is able to pack a bit of a punch compared to the everyone else. Oh. No, you don't. You don't use a potion. Thank you very much. You die. But yeah, so with Yorin, you do have to be a bit more careful with Yorin compared to any of the other people you fight in here. Uh, as he is, as you saw, as you might have saw with my health, he did pack quite a bit of a punch. So just be aware of that. Now we're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab all his money. We'll grab that one up. And right, so we've got the warlock's robe. Now this is like the opposite to the wisp shroud. So the warlock's robe. Which, as you can see, is based off the Executioner's robe. Now, they never built a model in the game of an Executioner's robe to work on a female body. So, I'll give, show you now. So, for example, this this will work as intended on a male character, as you saw with Yorin. You can see it kind of had that had that weird design that was that's based off the um, stained glass window from the Dark Brotherhood but if I put it on the female body uh, it just looks like the Dark Brotherhood robes so, you know it's not it's not a unique look so technically you could still wear it it's just that you'll be wearing sort of like Dark Brotherhood robes rather than what Yorin had so the, the unique design only works on the male character for the Warlock's robe and the unique design of the Wisp Shroud only works on a female character. Now, this one is a little bit weaker than the Wisp Shroud in the ways of its armor rating. But the enchantments themselves are exactly the same. So you get the same enchantments, it's just uh, the armor rating for this one is a little bit weaker than the Wisp Shroud. Alright, that is basically it for the main area. That's the main. That's basically it for this for this main area. Uh, once again, you got a few more chests in here. You can go oh, glass bow. I'll take that. I'll take all of them. Why not? Uh, just go. I'll take that. Uh, I mean, so yeah, that is it for the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire. So unfortunately, Odin did not make it. So now someone has to tell um, Freya uh, the bad news about her husband. But if you look on this table here, we, you'll, we will find a note. Now, this may help people feel a bit sorry for Yorin, but at the same time, they may not care and still think he deserves to die for the things that he has done. But we will have a look at this note. To Yorin. Despite what happens and what you decide to do, remember that I will always love you. I know that the disease of the vampire is running in my blood and that I will turn. But once I turn, I will become a danger to you and all the people who are important to me. So, I make this request to you that if my life is to end, that it is not to end by the hand of fate but by the hand that has held mine for many years. I know that this decision will not be easy for you, especially after we lost our son in a werewolf attack only a few months ago. But remember that no matter what you do, Kain will continue to guide you with her hand and grace, 
she will continue to smile upon you and I will always be looking down upon you with my love never faulting as I stand with our son and telling him how much his father loves him with all the love of Nern your loving wife Fenix so obviously he started this a little while back uh, as a way to I don't know, I suppose you could say get revenge upon sort of like because something that you might come to realise if, if you read all the lore this and stuff like that uh, the Revenant of the Phoenix Fire they come to kind of basically respect kinds creation so stuff like spiders, saber cats, bears I mean they'll still kill them and hunt them you know but they seem to have a bit more respect for them, a bit more honour show more honour towards them and stuff like that but things that aren't of kind's creation so nothing. So if it wasn't created by the Aedra and it was actually created by the Daedra uh, Yorin does not like it so vampires despises vampires, werewolves he will despise werewolves uh, Lurkers, Seekers, Dremora, anything like that, he will despise and just outright just kill. For no reason. And without mercy, he will just kill it. Uh, that's why he kind of doesn't like the Myling Guards. Because the Myling Guards weren't really a creation of kind. They're not really an age or a creation. They were more. I had the idea of Destiny and more to be of Daedric creation. But more humble Daedric creation, so created by like Meridia, like one of the sort of like seen as not inherently evil. But that is it. That is it for the Phoenix update. Uh, got us a few new items. Um, Frey has become a now has now become a widow, um, but she still gets to keep Newt. So she loses her hum husband, but gains an adopted daughter, despite the fact that the adopted daughter is a ghost of a child who died in the attack in Tizara. Kind of a bit bittersweet, really, isn't it? But right, that is it. I still have one more update planned. Uh, the final update I am I have planned for this. It's not like going to be a major big update. It's not really going to necessarily add in a new location. Because um, at, at the moment, in my head, I'm labeling it as a better the better living update. So basically what, I, what I'm intending to do with that update is to basically like just make some small little improvements to the Kapung Ala city itself. Uh, you know in a way of like uh, trying to slightly improve the, the NPC's AI within the city. Uh, might add like a bit more decoration to the place, you know just spruce it up a little bit. But I might also like add in some like new items that you could buy from the vendors. So you know you could there being a new spell you can buy from Freya or a bunch of potions you could buy from Lucius. You know, sort of like little things like that. Let alone there is still the trap door in Kapunging Alla, which is still locked behind a key, which the key is still not in the game yet. So that will also where that trapdoor leads will also be added in to the Better Living update. But, once again, if you're watching this and you haven't watched part one, well, one, why are you watching this first? <laughs> Doesn't make sense to go from two to one rather than going from one to two. Uh, but, two. There will be a link in the description below to part one of the Kapung Alla walkthrough as well as a link to the actual mod itself if you're somehow watching 
the video before downloading the mod just so you can get an idea and if you think oh that looks actually a little bit interesting there will be a link in the description below uh, but it is only currently out on PS4 it's not I haven't released it to Xbox or PC just yet uh, if there's enough demand for it I probably will release it on PC and Xbox uh, but I primarily just do mods primarily more for PS4 on the premise of because uh, fortunately PS4 has got the short end of the stick with what we can do with PS4 mods you know we're very limited to what can we can actually do with PS4 mods whereas PC and Xbox they're pretty much you kind of know if you do what you want there's slight restrictions but that's primarily just on uh, like stuff like script extenders and stuff like that uh, but unfortunately PS4 is a, it's much more restricted on what you can do primarily because of what Sony's decided to put in place so hopefully one day they decide to change their bloody goddamn minds so we can be a bit we can be a bit more adventurous to what we do in PS4 mods but if there is enough demand for it I will release this on to PS on Xbox and PC but it'll probably be once I've got the better living update done but if you enjoyed this video remember to check out some of my other videos on the channel uh, I'll be leaving a, a couple of uh, links at the end of the video to another playlist and another video if you want to check them out um, you know why not leave a like to the video um, also why not maybe you know, subscribe you never know you might find some more videos that you actually might enjoy or wonder what the hell I'm talking about so and also remember to share the video as well why not you know may as well watch you here you know, d d d it does me a favour, does do me a favour. So, until then, I'll see you all later.